A lot of interesting data being presented at ASCO in many different forums. So in uh, oral presentations, rapid orals that are a reprisal of some of the virtual plenary talks um, and the poster discussions, as well as just the posters. For example, we're presenting a detailed safety analysis of uh, Capiva Ceratib and Capitello 291 uh, as a poster and uh, with a time course, which I think is really important because Capiva Ceratib is likely to be approved in the fall in the United States added to fulvestrin based on the improved uh, progression-free survival data shown in Capitello 291 as well as, well as a trend of overall survival, although we certainly don't have significance there as yet. The, of course, the big splash for breast cancer at ASCO is the results of the Natalie trial, which looked at three years of ribociclib versus not, along with standard endocrine therapy for patients who had moderate and high-risk early-stage hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. And the Natalie did two things that were different from Monarch E. You know, abemaciclib based on Monarch E is now approved as treatment for high-risk early-stage disease. It's given for two years. In Natalie, ribociclib is given for three years. Um, and the other difference is that they did include a group of patients who have uh, moderate risk, so not very high risk as outlined in the Monarch E trial, but patients who also had no negative stage two disease, which is a group of patients that may have a later time to recurrence. I don't know that we'll see the breakdown of uh, data by stage at uh, ASCO because the follow-up period is still short, right? They got three years of treatment. The last patient was uh, treat, enrolled on study a year ago, uh, a year, 14 months ago or so. So there's, you know, they still have a lot of, they have to still have a lot of patients on treatment, but they've already put out a press release saying that they met their primary endpoint of improved uh, disease-free survival or relapse invasive disease-free survival. So people are very excited to see this data, but the efficacy and the toxicity data, Natalie started at a lower dose of ribociclib than is approved in the metastatic setting, 400 versus 600 milligrams. They showed that efficacy is maintained in the metastatic setting if you need to dose reduce and there were a lot of dose predictions for neutropenia so they were worried that three years in the adjuvant setting patients are tired of their adjuvant therapy might not be well tolerated so they started at 400 milligrams so it will be interesting to look at differences in uh, how people tolerated the treatment as well so that's probably the biggest presentation um, that people are looking for at uh, ASCO this year um, there are certainly a lot of other presentations that will be updates on data, I think that will be really helpful for us to see um, in terms of subset analyses of uh, trials that we've sort of learned little bits about over time. Um, but th that's probably the most practice changing uh, data that we're going to see. Um, and uh, the poster discussions I think are always interesting because you get an in-depth assessment from a from a, uh, a, a discussant about where that data fits in, so they're useful to hear as well.